Hey everybody, Goldie here with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to be looking at the blog post for the upcoming feud event. Um, the feud is I'm awesome and we have artwork of a brand new Miz. Which I think a lot of people wanted for a long time and now that John Morrison is the chase character, um, I feel like this was a natural transition. Uh, so hey champions, first things first. Our current roadmap includes almost the same kickoff talent up for the next month on contest. Um, take a look at that word almost and keep that in the back of your head. That's all I'm going to say. So prepare your roster throughout this month and get ready for it. Check out the talent up breakdown by community member and content creator Merix. Uh, it doesn't really show the hyperlinks on the blog, but if you scroll over talent up breakdown, it will take you to the video of Merrick's latest talent up breakdown. And if you hover over his name, it'll take you to his YouTube channel. Um, if you're not already following him, um, now is a very good time to do it. He's very informative. Um, and he does a lot of really good resources like talent up breakdowns and feud prep videos for the community. I uh, highly recommend you go follow him if you are not already. And now let the awesomeness begin. The showboat par excellence is here, and he is awesome. The Miz follows his congenial partner, John Morrison, to the summer jam party. Unlock him with shards in milestones, grab bags, tours, and loot. So that reads like we're actually going to possibly recruit him with shards. Uh, character art looks pretty dope. Got the headband and the jacket. Um... Two blue moves, a 3x4 area into reinforce, and then choose a 3x3 area into yellow gems. Uh, so obviously subject to change, because he's not alive in game yet, but that plays... That could play like Naomi, that could play like Mutant Cena, that could play like Adam Cole, where you boost the yellow gem damage. It depends on his other moves. He's a showboat, so you could boost that a bit. Unlock him at 4-star gold, so he is a 2,000 shard recruit only on wwechampions.com, which also known as the portal. Come back daily and enjoy free rewards that will help you in this contest. Again, if you're not already checking out the portal, you can link with either your Facebook account that is linked to the game or the Scopely ID that came out a couple months ago linked to your account. Either of those can get you into the portal and you can grab your free rewards and whatnot from there. Five-star silver previews and guides for new superstars can be found on the portal as well. Content made by the community for the community. Please note, subject to change. Always keep that in mind when you read the blog because you never know what's going to happen. So the upcoming schedule. All times are listed in Pacific Standard Time. The I'm Awesome contest starts August 6th at noon and goes for three days. Web solo event on the portal. That is the uh, spend $25, get 3 million coins um, in that solo event there. Faction Feud is Saturday at 4 o'clock uh, Pacific time. So do the conversion 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern, uh, midnight or 1 in the morning in Europe, depending on where you are. And it lasts for 20 hours. And there's also the flash market uh, with the rubies on the portal as well. So dominate in this faction feud to win the feud shard chest, strap medals and coins in the leaderboard, and progress in the awesome solo contest with every war score you earn. We've all seen the feud uh, prep in our faction HQs, so I'm not going to really go through that. Obviously, with the introduction of the new Miz, that's going to be the card that fills the top left line. Leaderboard rewards. So it's the same shard chest as normal. Uh, it doesn't say which factions get it, but if it's like the last couple feuds, it'll be the top 100. And then up to a legendary modern era strap with a bonus, some epic medals, and some coins. Pretty par for the course.
talent up your superstars, make use of the loot, and progress in the war score competition to earn points and rewards in this solo contest. Win the Miz awesome shards and grab bags, a bad attitude skill plate, which would imply that he's got some black moves too, four star silver tokens, coins, and much, much more. So there's contest points on the portal. There is a talent up portion for show showboats and modern era. Uh, you can double up by doing a modern era showboat. Uh, you get an extra 50k for spending your first loot coin. And then there's a point method for loot coins. Uh, talent up the new Miz, not the old trickster Miz. This is specifically the new Miz. And max milestone is 5 mil. And the rewards, here are the grab bags with the shards. Here's the plate. Here's a strap, some coins. Almost 13 mil coin is pretty nice. Just over 2,000 TP. There's some John Morrison shards. There's some Evo tokens. Solo points, faction points. Uh, here is the, I guess, la piste de resistance of this entire event. SummerSlam Mystery Prize Wall Medallion. You get two of them in the solo contest. Collect these on the way to SummerSlam weekend. Each one will be redeemable. 10 will take your roster to a whole nother level. Let's keep that one in the memory bank and double back to it. Uh, there is also vault coins and some tokens, some tokens, some tokens, some tokens, and more. Uh, leaderboard rewards for the solo portion is the card itself. Probably top 20, maybe top 10. I'm never sure. It seems to change all the time, along with some shard bags and some diamond tokens. Once again, there is a dedicated war score competition. So play with selected superstars in this faction feud to speed up your progress and earn more of the Miz Awesome points and milestones along with Miz Awesome shards and shard bags. Got enough solo points and want an extra challenge? Show the whole WWE Champions universe that you are the best feuder around. Compete in feud and push for extra milestone rewards, including up to a four-star The Miz Awesome in the leaderboard. So the max milestone to max out the uh, the war score competition is 20 million points. But apparently, if you don't really care about grinding out the war store competition, you only want to max the solo event. Uh, you only need seven mil. That's how it reads. Again, subject to change, but as it currently stands, you only need to get seven million in the war score competition to get all the solo points. And then if you want to grind out for leaderboards, 20 mil maxes it out. There are contest superstars. So the new Miz, again, not Trickster Miz. This is the new showboat. Uh, any Snoop Dogg, any Triple H. So everyone should have like three or four Triple H's on the roster. Uh, any Drew McIntyre and any Viking Raider. Uh, there were a lot of Eric shards given out over the last event. So hopefully you were able to recruit him and you can pop him in that middle lane for a line bonus. Uh, rewards, random gem skill plate bag. I'm assuming that's solo points from the 7 mil war score. And that would contribute to the solo event. And I don't think you're getting 2.5 million shards. Uh, that would be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. No, you get 150. And then there's more um, medallions in there as well. So that's four so far. Top 500 leaderboards. Um, so it's up to a four-star gold. So maybe it's top 20 gets the card. Uh, again, not, not listed, but a safe assumption. The faction contest. Your faction is awesome if you collect enough The Miz awesome shards throughout these contests. Earn 30,000 strat parts. That's a good number. That's almost a full unlock. 5 million coins. That's nothing to... To shake your head at either and more for your whole faction so you get them by collecting shards and thankfully you actually collect the characters shards this weekend it's not like the snoop event where you had to do loot pulls and pull for them you can get the shards in the grab bags so everyone in your faction has a chance to contribute even though it is still rng based everyone can at least contribute something and the rewards random legend modern era strap uh five star diamond tokens strap parts coins and tp and then leaderboard is straps and tokens. Limited Tide Tour, shine bright like a diamond. 
Is that his catchphrase? I'm going to go with no. Remember that thing that I asked you to keep in your head earlier? About 10 of these will take your roster to another level. So to me, this reads like medallions will be redeemable for five-star diamond tokens. And 10 of them means you can take a character to five-star gold. I would like to preface that, or I guess not preface because I already said it, but uh, I don't work for Scopely. I don't have inside information. This is strictly me speculating based on the blog that is subject to change. So if I'm right, I look like a genius. And if I'm wrong, it was subject to change. I got nothing to lose here. All right. Play these tours with selected superstars to earn resources, contest points, and shards and grab bags. So they've changed this. Um, normally, it would be one designated tour for the character and the character only. Um, but I've honestly never liked that because I feel like they have a victory tour at the end of the month. They shouldn't have one when they debut because they need people need to have a chance to get the character first. Um, so they've changed it to be any showboat so you can complete the tour. Uh, and then they've used him as a contest superstar, which I like. I find that preferable. Uh, the Hey, Hey, Ho, Ho tour. Uh, I'm assuming it's open, open mail. Uh, contest Superstar, Triple H, The Authority, which everybody should have. Um, long overdue for a 9K ability, in my opinion. So a lot of us might just have them at 5K. Or any Drew McIntyre. And then the third tour that launches on Sunday. So these two will launch on Friday. Saturday will be the feud. And when the feud ends, this tour will launch. It is any modern era. And uh, contest superstars, any Viking Raiders, or any Roman Reigns. And everyone should have... Um, is Powerhouse Reigns considered modern? I don't remember off the top of my head. But everyone has... Um, everyone should have a Roman Reigns. So the zombie is modern. Uh, the tech is modern. The shield is not. And the icon of WrestleMania is not. Uh, and I don't think the NXT one is either. So Powerhouse, Zombie, or Tech, I think, are the ones that are going to fall into that requirement. Uh, rewards, Shards, Posters, if you're lucky. Vault Coins, Coins, TP. Contest Superstar Rewards, so you'll get a strap for The Miz. You'll get Yellow TP because he's a showboat, so you'll get that. Awesome Loot. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Get a chance at 5 Star Silver, The Miz, Awesome, or his Shards. So you can get the shards from the RNG bags or from doing loot pulls. And again, shards count as a scoring method for your faction event. Alongside required superstars such as the Viking Raiders, Hunter Hearst, Helmsley, Connecticut Blue Blood, and of course, Snoop Dogg, Top Dogg, your host of this summer jam. That is the trickster, not the acro. And that's the blog. Um, so initial thoughts. I mean, it's a feud weekend. So set your lineup. And um, see what you can bang out. Let's, uh, did I scroll past the, yes, I did. So I, I said that this was on in the game already. Let's just take a quick look at it now. You get 20,000 points for rotating. So it's not a, it's not a, you get points by doing damage or draining a Titan feud. It's a burn and turn, turn one with as many people as possible feud in and out as quick as you can. Uh, 2v2 minimum requirement is five. Brawl timer is 30 minutes, and you get to bring one of each prop with you. Um, so if you're lucky enough to get the Miz, you get that top row bonus. That would be the war score boost. Um, again, any Viking Raider. A lot of us got Eric this last event. Any Legends era. We, everyone's got a four-star bronze Andre kicking somewhere, I think. And then open. So you get two more blast gems, three starting red MP, and 25% on your black gem damage off the top of my head. I know there's, um, I don't believe there's a gem generation up perk, but there is a gem generation down. Not sure how many um, of those people are going to run into, but disregarding those perks, the first people that come to mind, uh, Zombie Triple H, Afa, and Sika. Um, for me, personally, Maybe even Big John Stud. Find me in these streets. And then the bottom, any showboat, any modern era, open, and any Drew McIntyre. 
200% bleed damage is going to, uh, that's going to be fun for people that have a good bleed card and not fun for people like me who don't have an anti-bleed belt along with 100% finisher damage. So finisher damage, think Montez Ford, the one click wonder, I guess he's three clicks, and uh, icons of WrestleMania Batista, um, his owners are probably salivating at this um, line bonus for him. And then 200% bleed damage, Sokka was always a threat, um, Boogeyman, Powerhouse Drew, don't, don't sleep on that. He's got that. It's a low chance, but it could hurt. Zombie Daniel Bryan, if you run him with the bleed. Um, who am I miss? Oh, and Mutant Finn. Like, he... That's like 2.5 million bleed damage, and he got a 50% chance to hit. That is going to hurt a lot of people if that goes off. So it looks fairly... You know, the requirements are fairly decent. Um... There's three open slots, so even if you don't get a fill bonus, you still have a fighting chance with the characters of your choice, because you can put three of them in there. And, um, yeah, that's the event. I, I personally really hope that with the debut of a second Miz, that we will finally get Maurice. Um, that would be nice good French Canadian girl like myself. Um, also very interested to see, um, what his trainer ability or coach ability is. I don't know if we've gone through all the finisher colors yet. So he may be the sixth and final one off the top of my head. I don't know. Uh, very curious to see what his tag link is with John Morrison. That could be a game changer. If you are still on the fence about chasing, um, and you happen to get the Miz, that tag link could be what makes you decide to go for Johnny. Um, all in all, if you like feuds, this is the event for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, have a good feud week weekend. I wish you the best of luck. Let me know in the comments who you're running. Let me know if you land the Miz. Any other questions, comments, concerns you have about the event in general. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And hit that subscribe button so you know when my next video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.